Hello, Philip Hawker is my name. I work for a business called Western Ag Supplies. Um, we employ a team of 12 agronomists and we work through Western Victoria and also we have businesses up in the Wimmera Mallee. Um, we're an advisory group. We um, help growers maximise their productivity and profitability. We work with a lot of cropping people both in the high rainfall zones and the medium rainfall zones. Um, the reason I'm here today is that we're part of a roadshow of presentations on septoria and management of septoria. Septoria uh, I guess on an Australian standing is, is unique to the high rainfall area so it doesn't cut across all farming areas but it, I'd argue it's the most important disease in the high rainfall zones of Australia. So it's picking up parts of WA, South Australia and, and Victoria. Um, the disease is important because the varieties we've got have got low resistance. Um, it's a disease that's got a long build up or latent period in the, in the crop, which makes it difficult to control, meaning that you often have to put out fungicides well in advance of knowing what the weather's gonna be like. Uh, and then we combine that with difficulties in controlling the disease. Um, there's been real problems overseas with um, fungicides we're using not working in an overseas environment. Um, so we've got to give all that a bit of thought. We're a bit reluctant to take our foot off the pedal as far as maximising productivity goes because certainly if you sow late, use less fertiliser, um, the crop is less humid and we get less disease build up but they're things which lead to lower grain yield as well. So that, that's difficult for farmers, they want to maximise their productivity. We want to put in place programs where we can control the disease. So we're looking at um, rotating our existing group of fungicides, so within the triazole group, uh, and also um, introducing um, strobe fungicides as well in combination with triazoles. Uh, and there is some interesting information on the horizon with the new group, um, the SDHI chemicals, which are, which are um, in use in Europe and quite effective um, septoria uh, control products. Um, so the future is very bright for growing crops in the high rainfall zone. Um, we've been able to achieve um, some very high yields with, with um, sowing earlier and, and um, getting fertiliser programs right. Um, but we do need to keep on top of septoria. Uh, we do need to um, uh, encourage the work that the scientists are doing, um, identifying um, the makeup of resistant strains of the, of the disease. Um, so I'd take the opportunity today to say, look, GRDC need to recognise the importance of this work, um, the significance of the disease in our, in our area, um, and, um, and be supportive of funding applications that come through.